It was just March of this year when SRAM released their fully revised T-Type transmission drivetrain with no derailleur hanger. And now that version of the drivetrain has come down to the GX level. Some people might call that trickle down technology. I like to call it tickle down technology. <laughs> GX, which comes in at a much less expensive price point than the other stuff, this one at $1,099 for the group set, which includes your controller, shifter, crank set, chain, cassette, and derailleur. Pretty substantial difference in price point as you would expect with GX, and it also, of course, is an access wireless drivetrain. It still does use the T-Type interface, meaning it will only fit on a bike that is designed around the UDH universal derailleur hanger standard, which is a good thing, and basically how this transmission that SRAM made works. You get all the same benefits you get when you talk about this transmission drivetrain, being able to shift under load, a much easier your setup process with no high and low screw, a flat top chain, and just an all around much more durable drivetrain that has more clearance as it sits closer to the center of the bike and has a easily replaceable derailleur cage in case you ever rip that thing off. It's just a really well designed drivetrain now in a GX price point. Kind of the most obvious difference when looking at this versus the higher end stuff is they actually changed where the battery is inside of the derailleur. It's kind of cooler on this one, to be honest. It's a little bit more tucked away inside of the cage of the derailleur, a little bit more protected there. There's a couple skid plates on the derailleur that you can replace if you are to scratch those things. And it has all the benefits you'd expect out of GX. It shifts amazing, shifts great under load, just like any transmission drivetrain would at just a less expensive price point than the higher end stuff. Dollar, dollar bill. What is the main difference between GX and the higher end stuff? Well, as of late in like the last five years or so, not a huge amount of changes other than some material choices here and there. And that ends up being slightly heavier. You can see on screen now some of the weights. Also feel free to click the link below in the video description that covers all of this stuff in extensive detail and you can compare the weights even more granularly. But it's not all that much heavier and it is less expensive and it does work fantastically well. Yes, it looks different and it has GX on there so it's not quite as bougie and high-end as you might want if you want XXSL printed on your bike and your derailleur, but it's a pretty amazing system from SRAM. But inside, we are same same, but different but still same. Just like we've seen from them over the years, as they release their high-end premium drivetrains, they slowly come down to those lower price points like the GX is at. Not that this is a low price point by any means. How much is this, Marie? It's very expensive. But to get a transmission drivetrain at the moment, this is the least amount of money you can spend on it. All this stuff is cross compatible. So the GX stuff and the XO stuff, XXSL stuff, it all does mesh and work together if you kind of want to uh, play around with that and get something like the GX Eagle transmission and put a different chain or cassette on there, you can of course do that. Again, it does only fit bikes that have that UDH frame interface. If you're curious if that fits your bike, we have an extensive article all about that and how to find out if your frame does have that interface. We also help people fit these drivetrains to bikes all the time as upgrade kits, so feel free to contact us with any questions whatsoever. I can fix that. And wow, I don't really have too much more to say about this drivetrain. A lot of the benefits of transmission, like I mentioned, shifting under load, no hanger, better clearance, durability, all that sort of stuff, were kind of talked about extensively when this version of SRAM's drivetrain, the transmission or T-Type, was released in March. Um, this has all the same bells and whistles in a sense at just a slightly lower price point, which is pretty cool to see SRAM do. And that's one of the things we love about SRAM is that they continue to innovate and then bring that innovation to more affordable price points as the years go on. If you have any questions whatsoever about this stuff, feel free to drop a comment below or ping us via email, phone, chat, whatever you like, and we will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.